Barack Obama has as much care for the Constitution as Al Capone had for Prohibition. We want to use, and I said this at the last round, but we want to make sure that we use the 10th Amendment, the 9th and 10th Amendment, to protect our people. Because the federal government is out of control. Yes, sir. We want to use the 10th Amendment to protect the Bill of Rights. Yes. But if we have to, we will use the Second Amendment to protect them. We want to be a peaceful people, but we can't sacrifice liberty for peace. And it's got to come to the point. I mean, this is a Friday. It's, it's chilly out here. We've got we've got to have the crowds here, but you got everybody's got email list. And, and I, I I've talked to plenty of soldiers, and these soldiers don't much like what's going on with Obama. I mean, these are our troops, these are our family members, and I just don't think he'll have federal troops coming down here to South Carolina. I just don't see that happening. So what we got to do with, like any other bullies, we got to punch him in the nose. And how you punch him in the nose is that we're not going to do it. The man has never had a challenge. Everything's been handed to him. We don't know how his education was paid for, but it looks like it was handed to him, but we can't find out. He's never had to fight for anything. We have elected people to go to D.C. and roll over. Yeah. Now, we've got some congressmen up there, some congressmen up there that are standing firm, but we're in a fight. We're in an absolute fight. And this is a guy where there is no common ground. Yeah. And our guys up in Washington that keep searching for common ground and compromise, it's going to lead to nothing but failure and loss of liberty. Oh, wow. oh,